Family finds forgiveness as a judge sentences the woman who caused a crash that killed a UC football player. Sherry Martin hit 19-year-old Shimoda Kennedy Palmore on Vine Street in Avondale in September. Kennedy Palmore was on his way to football practice. Local 12's Adam Clements was in the courtroom for the emotional hearing. My grandson would even say forgiveness. That's how giving a an emotional scene this morning as family members of Shimada Kennedy Palmore gathered inside the courtroom. Sherry Martin asked for forgiveness. Yeah, I'd just like to say, I mean, I'm sorry for all this that happened. I would rather wish it was the of that young man. Tearfully, the family stood together and granted that forgiveness, but asked the court for justice. Martin was sentenced to 90 days in jail with 85 of those days suspended, one day already served. It was just, I guess, under the circumstances. I mean, the lady wasn't a bad criminal or person, if you might add that. She was an upright, standing citizen. It's uh, one of those things that could happen now as far as us going home. Martin was also given five years probation, a two-year driver's license suspension, and she'll pay close to $8,000 in restitution to the family. Now, for both families, the healing begins. My mom, she definitely didn't mean this to happen. She's a great person. She's a great mother. And like I said, we just hope that the family forgives us. And we hope that we could just move forward from this now that, you know, the sentencing has been done. I wish he was here. And we do uh, pray and have faith that we can take this nightmare and do something with it as far as forgiving her and other things that may happen to us in life. Sherry Martin's jail sentence was stayed until September 25th. That's when she is expected to report to serve those four days. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. And before he earned a spot on the Bearcats roster, Kennedy Palmore was a football star at Lakota East High School.